This is the representative of the oxygen ram degassing system with a standard flat surface rotor found in many rotary degassing systems. On this system, and the rotor being demonstrated, is a rotor that you find in a significant number of rotary degassing systems. This rotor has a flat surface area on the top and the bottom. You'll note an uneven disbursement of gas right at the rotor area. And at this lower RPM, you'll note that there is a very minimal horizontal disbursement of gas in the melt. At the higher RPM, you'll still notice that there is uneven disbursement of gas right at the rotor area. And even though you have a greater horizontal disbursement of gas left to right, you'll notice that the bubble is still quite large, resulting in a reduced total surface area of your impurities to attach to. Now note around the shaft sleeve itself that there's minimal turbulence in your melt as well as in the surface of this melt. And this is the Tuda International Oxyram degassing system demonstrating the improved rotor system. The same oxyram degassing system is a Tuda International enhanced rotor. You'll notice immediately with this lower RPM that there is greater horizontal disbursement of gas throughout the smelt left to right. Please note right at the rotor area itself that there is a more even disbursement of gas right at that point. Notice at the sleeve that there is a reduced amount of turbulence. This is to reduce the oxide buildup on your shaft as well as to reduce the oxides in your melt together. At the higher RPM, you'll notice that there is significant disbursement horizontally of your gas. You'll notice that it's a very fine bubble, resulting in a total greater surface area for your impurities to adhere to. Notice, too, at the rotor area itself that there is still the even disbursement of gas. Look at the shaft sleeve area and at the surface area of your melt, and you'll notice that there is reduced turbulence.